सो हेलो एवरी वन सो वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू पॉइजन इक्वेशन ओके पॉइजन्स एंड लैपलास इक्वेशन बोथ ऑफ देम इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व टू इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम्स ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन फ्री स्पेस द वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेंसिटी रो वी इज गिवन एज टू हंड्रेड एप्सिल आर नॉट डिवाइडेड बाई आर टू द पावर टू पॉइंट फोर कोलम्स पर मीटर स्क्वेयर ओके सो नाउ यूजिंग पॉइजन इक्वेशन यूनिट टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वी ओके वी और वी ऑफ आर ओके सो हियर फर्स्ट थिंग इज इन द क्वेश्चन यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट द इन इन केस ऑफ इन प्लेस ऑफ रो वी इन द डिनोमिनेटर साइड दे हैव गिवन आर टू द पावर टू पॉइंट फोर ओके दे हैव मैंशन द टर्म आर सो दैट्स वे वी कैन से दैट इट इज इन द स्पेरिकल कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम सो दैट्स वाई वी नीड टू बी सब्सिट्यूटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ डेल स्क्वेयर वी इन स्पेरिकल कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम ओके एस सी एस सो नो वॉट वी नीड टू डू राइट द फॉर्मुला ऑफ डेल स्क्वेयर वी इन स्पेरिकल कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम दैट इज वन बाय आर स्क्वेयर डो बाई डो आर ऑफ आर स्क्वेर डो वी बाई डो आर इज इक्वल टू माइनस रो वी बाई एप्सिल ऑन नॉट सो यू मोड आई वास्क यू माइट आई वास्किंग बिकॉज वाई वी हैव रिटर्न ओनली आर कॉम्पोनेंट सिंस इन द क्वेश्चन दे हैव मैंशन ओली द आर कॉम्पोनेंट सो दैट्स वाई ओनली द आर कॉम्पोनेंट इज इनफ सो दिस मच इज इनफ सो नाउ वॉट वी नीड टू बी डूइंग वी नीड टू बी फाइंडिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ वी आर वी राइट सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज फर्स्ट first uh, uh, in this case in this place uh, substitute the value of uh, rho v okay so now go on solving that is 1 by r square do by do r of r square do v by do r is equal to the value of uh, rho v substitute that is minus 200 epsilon not divided by epsilon not r to the power 2.4 okay so now you can cancel here epsilon and epsilon not and epsilon not okay so now now take this uh, r square to the other side okay so now the remaining term is do by do r of r square do v by do r is equal to minus 200 r square divided by r to the power 2.4 okay so now that is equal to minus 200 r square into r to the power minus 2.4 so we can write this like this right this so this is in the form of 1 by r to the power 2.4 i have just written it as r to the power minus 2.4 okay so now what we can do is minus 200 into uh, same base different power so we can uh, add the powers that is r to the power 2 minus 2.4 so the answer which we are, we are getting is minus 200 r to the power minus 0.4 or minus 200 divided by r to the power Point four. So this is the answer for do by do r, r square, do v by do r. Okay. Do by do r, r square, do v by do r. We got this much as the answer. Okay. But here our goal is to find the value of v, right? So still more we are we need to be solving. So now in order to eliminate this so do by do r, we need to integrate. So this term with respect to r. so with this uh, do by do r gets cancelled out and the remaining term is r square do v by do r is equal to minus 200 into so we have left with the r to the 1 by r to the power uh, 0.4 so we can write it as r to the power minus 0.4 plus 1 divided by minus 0.4 plus 1 okay the integration of r to the power minus 0.4 we have done it okay so now we, after solving this what we will be getting r square do v by do r is equal to minus 200 r to the power 0.6 divided by 0.6 0.4 plus 1 is 0.6 plus a okay this a is a constant term since uh, the integral is an uh, indefinite integral without limit so we would be getting this so now we have left with r square do v by do r so what we can do is uh to uh, multiply take this r square to other side so in this side only do v by do r remains that is minus 200 r to the power 0.6 divided by 0.6 r square plus a by r square okay yeah 
So now further if we simplify this what we will be getting rho v by rho r is equal to so minus 200 by 0.6 if we uh, do it, uh, substitute in the calculator the answer we are getting is minus 333.33 then uh, r to the power minus 2 plus 0.6 no no r to the power plus 2 minus 0.6 r to the power minus 2 plus 0 0.6 plus a into r to the power minus 2 so this 1 by r square i have taken into the numerator side okay so now dou v by dou r what we are getting minus 333.33 r to the power minus 1.4 plus a into r to the power minus 2 okay so now again we have dou v by dou r here so again we need to integrate with respect to r okay so now we would be remaining only with v or we can write it as v of r okay that is minus 333.33 into r to the power minus 1.4 since we are uh, integrating with respect to r so we would be getting r to the power minus 1.4 plus 1 divided by minus 1.4 plus 1 okay plus a r to the power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus one okay so now further we need to simplify this so now what we are getting minus 333.33 into r to the power minus 0 0.4 divided by minus 0 0.4 plus a r to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1 okay so now uh, after further simplification what we will be getting is so this we can uh, write it as um, uh, minus 333.33 divided by minus 0 0.4 so minus by minus is plus so 333.33 divided by 0 0.4 again we are getting answer as 833.3 okay into r to the power minus 0.4 as it is minus a r to the power minus 1 since we have minus 1 in the denominator okay so this is our final answer after simplified answer we can write it as 833.33 divided by r to the power 0.4 minus a by r plus b since we have integrated once again so we would be getting one more constant so yeah so this is your final answer of v of r which we are getting Okay, that is 833.33 divided by r to the power 0.4 minus a by r plus p. Okay, so this was the solution for this problem. So we have one more uh, problem which I have already solved it and kept it. So I am just going to explain that problem to you all. Okay, so here is the problem. So this is the problem. So the question is solve the Laplace equation for the potential field in the homogeneous region between two concentric conducting spheres with radii A and B. So they have given the radii here A and B and the concentric circles are given here such that the B is greater than A. So we can see that if B is greater than A we can say that the outer circle is having the radius B and the inner circle is having the radius A such that the condition satisfied. Okay B is greater than A. If potential B is equal to 0 at R is equal to B and V equal to V naught at R equal to A, then find the capacitance between these two concentric spheres. So here they have given, mentioned the one of the boundary condition of this spherical surface here okay, in the question. So according to this boundary condition, we need to be solving for capacitance between two concentric spheres. Okay. So yeah, this is a simple problem. So let's see. Okay, first consider two concentric spheres and uh, the write the boundary condition v is equal to v naught okay and uh, draw two concentric spheres with the inner sphere as the having the radius a and outer sphere having the radius b and write the uh, boundary condition here at r equal to a uh, v equal to v naught and at r equal to v v is equal to zero okay so now what we need to write consider the spherical coordinate system put del square v is equal to zero in spherical coordinate system that is the Poisson's equation okay or the Laplace equation oh yeah if del square v equal to 0 we can say that it's a Laplace equation yeah 
so now uh, write laplace uh, laplace equation in the spherical coordinate system so this is the equation that is 1 by r square dou by dou r of r square dou v by dou r plus 1 by r square sin theta dou by dou theta of sin theta dou v by dou theta plus 1 by r square sin square theta dou square v by dou phi square equal to 0 okay so assume the potential variation along r direction only in this case okay since in the boundary condition they mentioned only for r okay so that's why consider only the r term that is this term rest these two terms would be uh, equal to zero so these both terms would get cancelled only remaining term is del square v is equal to 1 by r square dou by dou r of r square dou v by dou r is equal to zero okay where we can we know that this uh, these both terms are getting multiplied in order to get the answer zero so it's a fact that we can say that any one of the term is zero so we we can say that since 1 by r square is not equal to zero because the r is the radius right the radius uh, will always not be equal to zero okay so we can see that the other term should be equal to zero so therefore dou by dou r of r square dou v by dou r equal to zero write it now then after that we need to be solving further so now we need to integrate with respect to r in order to cancel this dou by dou r okay so the remaining term is r square dou v by dou r is equal to uh, uh, this is here 0 is there right so bring this r square to other side so that is dou v by dou r is equal to integration of 1 by r square if you bring this r square to other side it would be 1 by r square okay so 1 by r square so dou v by dou r into integration of r to the power minus 2 okay that is uh, dou v by dou r is equal to uh, integration of r to the power minus 2 is again r to the power minus 2 only okay uh, then the dou v by dou r we are getting it as c1 r to the power minus 2. So now this here we got the dou v by dou r is equal to c1 r to the power minus 2. So now again integrating uh, with respect to r in order to cancel dou by dou r again. So we would be uh, remaining only with the v term that is v is equal to c1 r to the power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 plus c2 since we have integrated one more time so this would be the second constant so our answer is v is equal to minus c1 r to the power minus 1 plus c2 so name this as equation 1 then apply the boundary condition we know that at v equal to v naught the value of r is equal to a so that is uh, replace the value of v by v naught and r by a this is the first boundary condition and the second is at v is equal to 0 r is equal to b so that is v equal to 0 r equal to b so name this as equation 2 and 3 so you we can see that equation 3 we can solve it so by taking the c2 to the other side we would be getting c2 is equal to c1 b inverse b to the power minus 1 so we can substitute this c2 value in this equation 2 so v naught is equal to minus c1 a to the power minus 1 plus c1 b to the power minus 1 in place of c2 i have written this term so now we can see that in these two terms uh, c1 is common take a plus c1 you take it outside then the remaining terms are b inverse minus a inverse okay so our c1 value what we are getting b naught divided by b inverse minus a inverse okay so this is the value of c1 so this value of c1 we can substitute in this equation here c here okay in order to get the value of c2 since we got the value of c1 so now c2 is equal to substitute the value of c1 into b inverse so our answer we are getting it as c2 is equal to v naught b inverse divided by b inverse minus a inverse okay so that is uh, c1 uh, the finally our both the values of c1 and c2 are the value of c1 is v naught divided by b inverse or we can write it as 1 by b one and the same minus a inverse that is equal to 1 by a c2 is equal to v naught divided by b into 1 by b minus 1 by a since we have a uh, uh, b inverse in the numerator if you bring it to the denominator it would be 1 by b so that's why v naught divided by b into b inverse and a inverse you can write it as 1 by b minus 1 by a so these are the values of c1 and c2 so now these c1 and c2 we need to be substituting in the equation 1 in place of c1 and c2 substitute that value so we, we would be getting uh, the v term as minus v naught uh, substitute the value of c1 and c2 and after simplification you have, this is this would be your value of v okay then again apply the, the EFI property that is E is equal to minus del V okay that is equal to minus dou by dou R of V into AR vector since we are considering only along R direction only so that's why so E is equal to minus dou by dou R of then substitute the value of V whatever we have got here so after simplification what we would be getting is 
minus v naught uh, one uh, one by b minus one by a into r square. Since uh, this term uh, would be equal to zero because uh, there is no term uh, r term here, so this would be zero. And here we have minus one by r, and this v naught divided by one by b minus one by a take it out constant. So the derivation of my, uh, my and we have here minus outside, so minus into minus is plus. So derivation of one by r is equal to minus one by r square. Okay, so that's why this would be minus v not divided by one by b minus one by a r square a r. Okay, so now we we need to be applying one more condition that is d is equal to epsilon times e. Okay, now in this uh, since this is the property of electric uh, flux density, so now d is equal to uh, minus epsilon v not. So uh, uh, substituting the value of e here, minus epsilon v not divided by one by b minus one by a r square a r vector. Okay, so now in order to uh, take this minus sign out and also this a r vector out, we need to be taking the magnitude of e and make it a complete scalar quantity. Okay, that is magnitude of d is equal to rho s since we all know that that is the surface charge density. Uh, epsilon v not divided by one by b minus one by a into r square, which is equal to q by a. Okay. Q by a that is the general formula of uh, rho s. We know that it is equal to Q by a. Okay. So now uh, Q is equal to rho s times a. Okay. Since uh, the rho a value of rho s is here. Okay. And the value of a is area that is the area of the sphere is four pi r square. Okay. The value of rho s substituted as epsilon v not divided by one by b minus one by a r square into four pi r square that is the area of the circle or the area of the sphere. So we can cancel this uh, r square r square out, and this is the term which we are get left out with q term. That is, q is equal to four pi epsilon v naught divided by one by b minus one by a. So now substitute uh, the value of c as q by b. Okay, then we would be getting c is equal to q by q. The value of q is four pi epsilon v naught divided by one by b minus one by a. And in place of v naught, uh, since we know that v is equal to v naught. Okay, so the boundary condition which we have taken. So consider that and substitute the value of v as v naught. So we can cancel v naught, v naught, and this is the final capacitance which is left here. That is c is equal to four pi epsilon divided by one by b minus one by a farad. Okay, so yeah, this in this way we need to be solving this problem. So that's all for this session. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, tried to understood the concept. So we would be seeing in the seeing you in the next video. Thank you.